Hi there, my name is Brett. I'm the founder of Blick Digital and I wanted to give you five rules for naming your Infusionsoft tags. So to remember, as we get into this uh, with all naming conventions, you wanna give yourself context. And so these rules are meant to help you give yourself some context so that when you're looking at your tags and your structure two years from now, you can remember why you named a tag a specific way. So the first kind of rule that I have here is to use categories. This is a must. And this will help you keep things really organized. And so what I'm gonna do here is show you the, the eight or nine categories that we recommend that you use. Every business is slightly different. Some businesses will use all of these, some businesses won't. And I'm also aware that every business is different. And so you might not fit into these exactly, and that's okay. But this sh it should give you like a starting point to get started. So the first one that we recommend, the first category is profile. And you can see here, this answers the question of who is this person? In other words, are they a customer? Are they a prospect? Are they a referral partner? This is gonna give you a really solid foundation, high level uh, to see you know, what, is your, what your database looks like. You can, get, you can imagine in these on your dashboard at any given time, you'd, you'd be able to pull up uh, you know, any report that just says, all right, I've got X amount of customers, got X amount of prospects, X amount of referral partners, and this should be really kind of foundational information for your database. You can also see it says 01.profile. I'll get into that later, but uh, just keep that in mind that these are numbered. So the second one here is historical. And this is generally gonna answer the question, what has this person done? In other words, you know, have they downloaded a file? Did they request a consultation? Did they purchase something? What have they done historically? A lot of people also will use uh, the name like activity uh, as well. So historical activity, those sorts of things will just help you identify the actions that somebody is taking. Now, Infusionsoft is actually getting really good, not really good, but getting a lot better at tracking these things automatically. So they're not as important. You can you know, pull reports down without having to, you know, tag every single thing, every single, you know, link click that, that people are doing, things like that. So don't overdo it on this one, but this, you know, this is gonna be really helpful for you. Uh, number three is campaign or campaign status. And these really have to do with, you know, the functionality around the campaign builder. So this one is really good at answering the question, where is this person at in my campaign? Uh, or uh, is this tag related to the campaign in a way that it starts or stops something or loops something? So uh, again, that's the third one, campaign status. Number four, admin type of tags. So, you know, you might have, you know, a failed invoice list or, uh, you know, those sorts of just administrative overview type uh, tags. And this would be a good category for those to live in. The fifth one here is email, which has to do with email preferences. Not everyone uses this, but, you know, some people will have, uh, it'll be like an email preference center, allow people to choose, do they want emails weekly, monthly, daily, those sorts of things. And uh, I think having an, an email category for that, those tags specifically is a really good idea. Number six is events. So if you're doing a lot of events, not, again, not all businesses do this, but if you're doing a lot of events, this is a really good one so that you can put anything that's event related in its own tag category. Number seven is membership. A lot of people have like Memberium, or I Member 360, uh, Access Alley, those sorts of, of programs. And if you're using those plugins with Infusionsoft, you'd want some sort of uh, category called membership in there where anything related to the functionality of that membership can live. Number eight is a miscellaneous one. That's kind of a catch-all for random or temporary tags. Uh, sometimes you just need to create additional tags uh, for specific reports that you're running that you don't need after you run those reports. And this would be a good place to you know create those as like temporary. And, uh, and that's it. So again, that's a starting point. Think of those as a starting point. So you'll notice, like I said earlier on, that there are numbers in front of these categories. And this is so that I can keep uh, the list clean. This, in other words, Infusionsoft, Infusionsoft wants to alphabetize everything. And if you don't put a number in front of it, then it's gonna alphabetize it in you know the normal alphabetical way. But I, I created those tag categories in a way that uh, you know was pretty much most important to least important, at least the way that I do things in my business. Now you may decide that for you memberships is really important, so that's like one or two uh, on your list. So just keep that all in mind and, and keep all of this in context. Number two is to date your tags. And what I mean by that is if it's relevant, make sure that you put a date on it so that you can remember what it was about. Again, this just completes the picture and gives you a little more context when you're looking at these tags two, three years from now. Um, here's a good example. If you're running a lot of webinars, live webinars, 
then you'd want to follow this structure here on the, you know, on the left hand side where you put date first and then month and then and then uh, finally the day or you can just skip the day if you know you don't run that many and just do year and month and the reason you'll do this is because it'll again it'll alphabetize and it'll group them together and put all of the years together and then all of the, the months together and so uh, you know if you've got it backwards and you've got you know June uh, all stuck together even though it was June 2014 and June 2016 you know you want them grouped uh, kind of appropriately that way so Hopefully this gives you just a little bit more organization when it comes to creating you know, events or webinars or those sorts of tags uh, within Infusionsoft. Uh, the third rule here is to use the words start and stop for any tag that, that does an action, either the start or stop action. Uh, and this is good because you know, you know, just about anyone in your system, unless you've really locked down the permissions, can go and apply or remove tags. And so what this allows, you to do is have kind of that fail safe in place meaning uh, if you got a sales rep that isn't quite sure how to use infusionsoft they've seen this happen before and they go and apply a tag to a bunch of people not realizing that it would have started an entire campaign that doesn't necessarily make sense to that person then you know that, that's bad news but if you've got the word start in there that's a good indicator that okay this tag is actually going to do something and i should be a little bit careful when i apply this tag so that's really why i recommend that Number four is to group your tags knowing that they're alphabetized. So this kind of goes back to the dating thing. But if you can see here on the right on this little image, uh, when, you, when you create your naming convention, just remember that Infusionsoft alphabetizes everything. And, and as you do that, it just makes it that much cleaner and easier to use and, and to find things in the future. So just keep that in mind. Here's a couple of examples for you. In our historical uh, case, you might have like two main websites that you do a lot of activity with. Well, if people are you know downloading or watching things from those different websites, you might do in the historical category anything related to website one. You'd have like a prefix of that tag name, website one, website one, website one. Those would all live kind of in its own group because you've named it in a way that looks like this that we're looking at. So number five here is don't over tag and then audit your tags regularly so uh, I've, I've been in a lot of messy applications where people just tag and tag and because they just you know they, they think that maybe they'll use that data later but the reality is is that gets really messy and most of the time they don't even remember why they did that so again be clear and concise about how you're tagging and why you're tagging something and then audit your tags regularly so they don't get out of control and you know that'll that'll go a long way so here's a quick bonus kind of tip is to use automation to remove tags when necessary. So anytime you apply a tag, just remember to ask yourself, is there something that I should, is there a tag I should be removing as well in this step? And that'll kind of help you keep not necessarily the tag list clean, but at least the tags on your contacts clean. And those obviously are two very important things. A good example here is that when, uh, when you have a, a contact that uh, is a prospect is in your funnel and then all of a sudden that person purchases something a lot of people will go and apply a tag like a customer tag but they won't really remember to remove the prospect tag and so now this customer or contact has both a prospect and a customer tag on their record and um, you know it's not, not horrible at the end of the world but it can be a lot cleaner so just remember to remove tags when you can as your list grows and it will grow again things and this is kind of a recurring theme in this video it can get a little messy and you've probably already seen that's probably why you're watching this video so just remember that you'll want to continue to audit follow these rules keep things clean and clear and that should get you in a much better place and really even if you leave infusionsoft and you and you implement some other system these same rules really will apply i've seen these rules apply with other crm marketing automation systems just as well and so follow the main thing is here follow a system be specific and intentional so you know you know how your tags are, are are working and what they're supposed to do and you should be all set so thanks for uh watching this this video on naming your infusionsoft tags obviously if you have any questions or concerns i'd love your feedback go ahead and leave a comment below and we'll talk to you soon thanks